Aloha everybody, it's Danielle with Love Gold Karma. Today I'm going to be making a soap as part of a collab and the soap we're making is called Isolation Inspiration. We were to grab something from our closet, a favorite piece of clothing or what have you, and use it to inspire a soap. And we just had to use what was on hand since we're all uh, trying to stay home and stay safe right now. So I went ahead and used one of my favorite scarves and I'll insert the picture right now. And that's what I'm going to be doing my inspiration soap on. So I have all my oils in this bucket and I have my lye water, uh, Tessa silk, sodium lactate, and some milks in my other one. And I have my fragrance oil off to the side. Today I'm gonna to use Moonchild by Bramble Berry, and I'm gonna just pop it right in there. I'm gonna split it up. I'm using about a gazillion different shades um, based on the scarf. My base is gonna be Emerald Green Mica by Crafter's Choice. I also have her Playhouse by Crafter's Choice, Evergreen Mica from them, the Granny Smith Apple. I have Bright Yellow Raincoat from Mad Micas and Blue Shocker from Mad Micas. I have Shimmering Gold also, I forgot about that, from um, Crafter's Choice, and then I have the um, Dark Blue Oxide from Brambleberry. So let's get started. All right, first things first, I'm going to just get all this in here. I'm going to go ahead and strain my lye and everything else here into my oils. side and I'm going to just put that off to the side all right I'm going to just stick blend barely I want it really really fluid I've got a really fun mold I'm gonna show that to you guys in a minute I I had this mold for a while and that's exactly what this is about I had it for a while I used it a couple of times and meant to use it again because I really liked it and here we go, I think it goes perfect. I think it's the perfect um, kind of mold for this. All right, let me grab my stick blender. Let me tap that 700 times. So I'm only giving this just a little bit of a whirl. I'm gonna go ahead and put my moon child in now. I already pre-measured that. Oh, it smells, oh, so good. Okay, I'm gonna give this just a really, really quick stick blend and then the rest I'm gonna pour off and stir by hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit at a time into each one, because I really am putting just a tiny bit of color, really intense color, into each one and then pouring it back in the base and I can Add, but I certainly can't take away. So I'm trying to go slow here since I have about 60 billion different colors. All right, and this is evergreen. I'm excited. This is just going to be so cool. This mold of mine has been sitting around for so long and now I get to use it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to each one. A little more to the dark blue. Pretty emerald green. I'm going to be stirring each one of these by hand. I already dispersed the micas in oil before I started. I think that's good on the blue shocker and a little bit more yellow. The base is going to be that really pretty emerald green. So I'm going to wait and see how this mixes up and let's see how it goes.
here's my mold and I've already got all my gold mica in there. I just got it all kind of brushed in there and it's so cool. I think that's going to just look just like the scarf I'm moving it so the light can hit it. I think it's going to be awesome. All right, let me get the last of this going. So I have my emerald green. I've got all my colors mixed up. I've got my emerald green in the pot. I'm going to give that a little zap and then I'm going to throw everything in there, do an in the pot swirl and pour it into the mold. Okay, I'm going to start with my yellow. This is some of that bright yellow raincoat and it's got a little bit of gold mixed into it. Pour that in there. Save a little bit if I need to. All right, and then this is my Granny Smith Green. I'm trying to pour a little bit on each side so they don't really mix together. I'm saving a little bit if I need it for scraping out. Then this is my Evergreen. blue shocker still completely obsessed with this I'm gonna throw that in the middle save a little bit this is my um, dark blue this is my dark blue oxide there it goes in there I'm trying to like not get them to mix but I know they're gonna mix a little All right last but not least here goes that purple playhouse I'm gonna put that over here now I'm gonna give this just one tiny stir through with the chopstick because I really want it to be not overly mixed. And I'm gonna pour it in. All right, that's it. We've got a nice fluid pour going on and now we just have to wait for it to set up. So I will bring everybody back when it's time to cut up the bars. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, glitter junkies, stay sparkly. Aloha.